Okay, so you're doing or want to do covers and remixes for YouTube, but the problem is everyone's telling you, A, you can't make any money with those videos, B, YouTube's gonna take those videos down and ban your channel, and C, the label's going to claim that and make all this money and all this AdSense revenue off of your video and your hard work, and that's a problem. I'd be concerned too. I was in the past, I figured it out, and this is how you do it. What's going on guys, Adam Ivy, sellmusic.com, here to help you go further, faster in your music career by sharing proven marketing techniques and strategies to take that passion for making music and turn it into a legitimate business. That's gonna provide you with freedom and fulfillment, two of the most important things in life in general, and I'm a living, breathing testament to that. Now, what I wanna talk about is a real quick little subject that I'm getting a lot of questions about that I just wanna kinda of give some clarity to you guys about, and that's cover music. Cover songs uh, on YouTube are incredibly popular. It's one way to really build up your brand rapidly, get more traffic. Now, there's two ways primarily to get traffic in your music career to your music, uh, and that's walking in front of traffic or buying into traffic. Now, buying into traffic obviously is paid ads and you're putting your face everywhere in your music, everywhere on the internet and on social media, just to be able to get people to kind of pay attention to you. Now, stepping in front of the traffic is a little bit more strategic and methodical in the sense of finding other artists that are kind of a similar fit to what you're looking for for an audience. And then that's a great way to start doing cover music or a great reason why you would be doing cover music. Now, one question I am receiving a lot of is, Adam, how do I make money off of covers? If I'm just doing covers, how do I make any money off of that? YouTube will take them down, right? I won't get paid, right? Kind of. One thing I wanna bring up to you is A, cover music, cover songs, uh, covers on YouTube, Instagram, TikTok for that matter, um, are going to be eyes and ear attractors, right? It's going to be the hook that you're pulling an audience in with. So technically up front, you might not get paid a whole lot for covers, but if you're doing gigs, if you're doing shows and festivals, and if you're trying to build an audience, which could then lead to merch sales, could then get a little bit of money from those covers itself on uh, YouTube for that matter, for as far as um, AdSense revenue, then the money up front isn't going to be as abundant as if you were selling 99 cent singles, or if you were getting millions of streams, or if you were doing a lot of different shows just on a whim. Uh, even busking for that matter could bring more immediate income in, but that's not the point. The point is covers are going to attract people to you. Then you can put out those originals and make money on that end. Uh, but can you make money on YouTube and wherever with covers without getting them taken down, without getting demonetized, without getting a copyright strike? Yes. There are companies out on the internet, one in particular that I'm very familiar with is We Are The Hits. I'll have their link down in my description box. Now what We Are The Hits are, what they specialize in, is they partnered with several different labels, uh, Sony, RCA, Universal, just to name a couple, um, and they have rights for you as a user through We Are The Hits to be able to post covers on YouTube, and then what you do is you post a cover on YouTube, you copy the URL for that video, you go over to We Are The Hits after you have a membership and all that, then you paste it into the box of what you're doing. So it's kind of like telling the label, telling the label through We Are The Hits what you're up to. And that, yes, hey, I'm a member of this service, We Are The Hits, and I'm not affiliated with them. I don't have any affiliate link with you guys or for you guys, I'm not making any money, they're not a sponsor by any means, but this is one way that a lot of my students have, have been able to monetize their covers, as well as some parodies and whatnot that kind of fit in that gray area of being able to get permission. Now, We Are The Hits is just one. There are several others out there, just do a quick Google search or find alternatives, but what it is, is it's going to allow you to have those rights. It's not going to demonetize your channel. You're not gonna get a copyright strike. You're going to make a little bit of money. Are you gonna make a ton? Probably not, but that's not the point here. What we wanna do is we wanna use covers as an attractor or an attractant. I don't know. Anyway, so you bring people into your ecosystem and your channel, and then you do requests. You do uh, top Billboard 40 hits that are on the radio right now or climbing the charts because that's going to be able to get traffic to you uh, so that people are watching your content and say, wow, I really like you know, what they're doing. What else do they have? And that's when you can grow a real fan base very quickly based off of your talents and your quirks and your personality and your, your aesthetics and what you look like. I mean, let's face it, this is show business. So you know, one thing I want you guys to understand is that when you go on the hits, or we are the hits, um, they're not gonna have every single song in existence on there. 
they're only going to have songs listed that they have legal rights to through their partnerships with these labels. So if you're wondering, you know, hey, what do I do a cover on? They actually have a tool on there that'll show you the top charts in that moment. So you could say, hey, these are trending. These are the top ones. These are ones that people are really, really into and vibing with right now. And that's a couple ways that you can make the money from these cover songs. I have several students who are kind of cover artists and I don't think anyone wants to be under that umbrella and that stigma as cover artists. So what I would suggest doing is do two to three covers and then add an original, depending on the frequency in which you're gonna be releasing new music. If you have five songs ready to go, that's awesome. Do two, three different covers and then drop an original. That builds hype, builds momentum, and builds discoverability, especially here on YouTube, because what it does is it shows YouTube that you have valuable content that people are searching for, that people are staying, uh, you know, retended to retention retention the term i'm looking for is audience retention so the longer you're on a video uh, the more you're going to be rewarded from youtube by showing that video to others that's why audience retention rates are so important and with that being said if you guys want me to do a full-blown tutorial on building a channel as an artist or a producer or just any music creative in general here on youtube all the best practices and the little tips and tricks and the strategy behind it let me know in the comments below say adam we want that youtube thing let's have some fun guys if you haven't yet, I want you to watch this video next. This is where I actually talk about covers more in depth as far as the benefits and the pros and cons. Uh, and then before you leave, I want you to click that little button so you can join the channel family right here. Then smash that bell icon and the thumbs up so you can be notified first every time I upload a video just like this. Come connect with me over on Instagram. I hope this was helpful and I appreciate you watching.